disappears. And if you um, just have a look to these models here, you see they are very smooth, they are very round, they feel very yeah, like a, a real genius has made them because it's, it's very high quality, so it's astonishing what shapeways can do today. Um, but for us, um, as uh, the uh, visualization guys, we have to create a visualization that is very close to what finally leaves shapeways. And for this, we um, make sure that every letters are roundish and have a bellied shape. So you see, this is a original uh, letters that are coming from the uh, font, just extruded and beveled. But this is what we need. So they are different. And um, it took us several days to learn that, however, which modifiers we use, whatever modifiers we use, we cannot really uh, mimic and come close to, to the final letter, uh, the form of the final letters. So um, finally we decided to just model each letter by hand manually. So this was a, a very um, uh, yeah, a strange part of the project, but finally we could be sure that every letter is visualized um, the way uh, Shapeways uh, will print it finally and, and send it to the customer. Um, this is uh, the original font. You can just uh, import any font in, in Blender, but uh, the letters that the font gives us, even after extruding and beveling and subdivision and everything, is not the, the letters that we need. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, the the current state. Okay. Um, so if we have um, finished the modeling phase, we could uh, work on the shaders. And maybe you you, you just noticed that we we use two um, renderers. We use uh, Blender internal rendering, and uh, we also use cycles. Uh, Blender internal we are using to give a very fast feedback to the customer. And um, after a couple of seconds, if nothing changed anymore, if the customer is not changing any letters anymore, then the uh, photo, more photorealistic uh, rendering uh, from cycles is following the Blender internal rendering. So this is a good uh, trade-off between speed and uh, photorealism. And for the Blender internal uh, rendering, we also uh, tried uh, several, several um, yeah, variants. Um, the, the lowest one here is uh, just uh, the Lambert diffuse shader together with the Ward ISO um, a specular shader. It, it gives not a real good silver result. Um, the best result we get from a, a ray trace, um, if you just uh, switch on ray tracing together with uh, image-based lighting and one key light. So this looks um, the best, but it also took between uh, six and tri 12 uh, more time. So it took longer. And, and uh, in a web application, you cannot let the customer wait 12 seconds. This is not working. So we finally uh, found out that uh, MudCap is uh, the best uh, thing we can do, because this gives a silver look, which is very close to the final server, silver, and it also uh, renders very fast. And um, uh, Mudcap is very easy to set up. You don't know, you don't need any lighting in the scene. You you just have all your uh, visual effects uh, directly from the Mudcap. Um, I think I should hurry up a little bit. Is here anybody who is not familiar with Mudcaps and want to know what Mudcap is and it, how it can be used? Okay, then I will just skip. Uh, to go into detail here. So um, finally, um, after the Blender internal renderings have passed, then we also uh, use cycles. And here we use image-based lighting and, and any effect that is necessary to create a very realistic look. And the shop owner was very happy that we uh, were coming so close to the final look of the bracelets. So let's talk about 3D printing. 
Um, all those uh, visualizations were produced because there is a model programmatically set by the customer's input, and this model is then rendered. And the exact model um, can be also used to send it directly to a 3D printing service like Shapeways. And um, so Blender is not only used here for visualization, but also to print the exact models. Um, currently we are in a test phase, so the shop owner, if an order was uh, given uh, by a customer, uh, can download the uh, model, the bracelet that was uh, customized by the user. And um, the shop owner is not familiar with 3D modeling or anything uh, technically, um, but she can uh, run uh, uh, programs like Cura or uh, SketchUp, very simple uh, or very easy to use programs just to have a look into the model that was automatically produced by Blender. And for example, here you see what we have done with the eye. You know, the dot of the eye was directly connected to the body so that it cannot fall apart anymore. So this is a, is a manual check. Uh, but we could um, also uh, skip this because we are very uh, convinced that our system is creating very well printable models right now. Um, if you want to print it uh, via Shapeways, you have to upload the model to Shapeways, have to select a material, and Shapeways uh, offers their own checks, for example, for the uh, width of uh, the letters. And um, for example, here I have uh, a, a graphic that shows that uh, with this letter Z, uh, SZ in German, SZ, it looks like a B somehow, um, there are some um, areas that are too thin. But um, we said Shapeways uh, printed anyway to, yeah, to, to see what happens. And uh, yeah, somehow it, it, everything works fine and it, it, it could be printed. And this is also one of these. Um, and although Shapeways uh, gives us an alert that is not be printable, um, it was working. And um, so we were very happy because our system creates robust um, bracelets. And we have, uh, after this, uh, also sicked uh, those uh, letters a bit so that Shapeways will never give us, gives us an alert about the thickness of letters. OK, um, so this is uh, my last slide. I would like to thank the team. Um, this is Gisela, who had the idea. Alain was uh, uh, overhauling all the letters. It was a very tough work. Um, we had Thomas, who was a web programmer, and Daniel has done the shaders. And Jonas uh, was a consultant for the 3D printing, printing application. Thank you very much. So if you if you like um, to see silver and gold, which is coming from Shapeways after it is produced, come to me and just yeah, check it out. Thanks.